So I've got a new sequence here. I'm going to drop my first sequence inside of it and it nests it quite happily. But if I click this little button and then I drop my sequence inside of it, you notice it no longer nests it. It brings it in and splits it up into all the individual bits. Now I quite like nested sequences. Of course, I can always just select them and then nest them again. But you have the option of when you're putting one sequence inside of another, it doesn't nest it. It comes in as a bunch of clips. You might also notice the absence of the work area bar above the timeline. Now, actually, this was a change they introduced in CS6. You don't have to use the work area bar. You can do everything just by using in points and out points. The difference with Premiere Pro CC is basically they've turned it off. You can still turn it back on if you really like the work area bar. Just come up to the little stack and say work area bar and you get it back. It's just it's turned off as a default. Another nice little thing on sequences, which is particularly useful if you've got several sequences, is imagine you have got lots of sequences and they're all running off screen and you wish you hadn't opened so many and you want to close them all down and just keep this one. In Premiere Pro 6, you'd have to go and do it one at a time. In Premiere Pro CC, you just right click on your sequence and say close all other timeline panels. That for me is amazingly useful. I have to admit that was one of the most irritating little things I'd find about Premiere was the fact that if I had lots of sequences open, it took me ages to close them. Now right click, close the rest of them. Now another thing they've added in is an audio clip mixer. I've got the same audio track mixer that we've had in Premiere for ages, but now I've got a separate one for clips. With this mixer, if you ever used it to add in keyframes or do a bit of audio automation so you're adjusting the volumes as you're playing, it puts in keyframes and changes on the track level. That meant if you ever moved a clip, the changes wouldn't go with it. So now they've invented another one which lets you change stuff on the clip level. Now I want to change the audio level of this clip. I used to come in and hold down the right buttons and put in points and so on. I can now do the entire thing with the audio clip mixer. So just stick the cursor where I want to put in a point, turn on right keyframes and make a change. Move along a bit, move along a bit more, and so on. It doesn't stop you doing these kind of rubber bands in exactly the same way that we've been doing them for ages, but now you can do them through the clip mixer if you want to. Obviously you can get much nicer refinements on there. If you look at the effects control window, you can see it's just putting keyframes on the volume, just like it would have done before. It's just a nice way of controlling the clip. I if I set the thing playing, the right and then make some adjustments, the computer and Wonderful. Um, uh, it writes all those keyframes in. But the difference between this and what we had before is I can pick this clip up and move it, and the keyframes go with it which it didn't on the track keyframes. If you want to use track keyframes, they're all still there. This mixer does exactly the same as it did before. You can still put an effect on an entire track, but you've now got a clip mixer for doing individual clips. Another new thing that we get inside of Premiere is the ability to do stuff with what's called through edits. Now imagine I've got a clip on the timeline here and I cut it up. I haven't actually taken anything out, I've just sliced that clip in two. That's what's called a through edit. In other words, there's an edit that does effectively nothing. We've got the ability to show through edits. So you can see there, I've now got a little white marker showing me those two different edits joining together. But I've also, if I go and right click on it, I've got the ability to join them back again. At this point, I've only just chopped it, I could undo it. But now, way down the road, I've also still got the ability to join these edits back together and make that back into one clip. Here I've got a situation where I've got two clips that are out of sync. Now it knows they're out of sync because the two clips are actually linked together. If I click on one it automatically selects the other. And obviously you can come down to these numbers and right click and either move it or slip it into sync. Now that stuff's the same as before. The new thing that you have inside of this latest version of Premiere is in the preferences you've got an option here to display out of sync indicators for clips that aren't linked. So that's ticked at the moment. Now, if I then come to these things and unlink them, then you'll notice it's still showing me that things are out of sync and I can still just put them back into sync. If I turn off that preference, then we're back to how it was in previous versions of Premiere. If the clips were unlinked, you couldn't tell for Toffee. Other nice little changes on the timeline is the way that you see effects. There's a little icon there which says FX. Now at the moment, there's no effects on any of these clips. If I was to go into the list of effects and just get something simple, throw that onto the clip, you'll notice the effects icon changes. And if I right click on that little FX word, I can get to the parameters of whatever the effect is. 
You could do this in the previous one. What's happened is just the way that it's displayed is different. It's taking up less space. It's not giving me an irritating line, which I accidentally grab and make, makes things semi-transparent. It's just a nice way of showing you there's an effect. I'll still probably come up to the effects control window and then adjust it up there if I want to. Of course, I do have the option of showing you know, keyframe levels and opacity handles here. Again, click on the spanner, show video keyframes. I get the line where I can show the keyframes of whatever it is I've selected up here.